doing some experimenting with my Max Burton stove to go, I'm gonna try to make bread. So, you can see me stirring this stuff up. I'm gonna put the uh, recipe in the notes. But essentially what I started off with, and sorry I didn't get a video of it, is me heating water. So I reduced um, this recipe so that I would only use two cups of flour and a cup of water, I believe it is, a uh, half teaspoon of salt, and um, half a, I'm sorry, half a tablespoon of salt and a half a tablespoon of yeast. So right now I'm mixing it. What I did first was I heated up the water to about 125 degrees. And then um, I combined all of the dry ingredients earlier and put it in a Tupperware. Threw it all in. I'm mixing it up just to mix all the ingredients up. And then I'm going to wait three hours. So it's going to take me three hours to get to Vegas to the level campground that's about 40 minutes outside of Vegas and by that time it should have risen once and from there we'll go from there but anyway okay after two hours that's what it looks like I'm gonna put some flour on it kind of scoop it into a ball put it onto por parchment paper and then uh, let it rest for about, I don't know, 30 to 40 minutes. So I made it back into a ball Fold it over about four times, put it onto the um, stick free, put it onto the stick free aluminum foil, and then put it back into there. Next time I might try just not putting it into a ball to see how that works. Well, I cooked in the uh, Max Burton Digital Stove to Go. It doesn't look as if it gets browned as I would have liked. Um, that's kind of a limitation of the uh, stove to go. It um, kind of heats by contact and then the top is closed so it um, holds in moisture so it doesn't get that browning effect. I'm uh, not exactly sure what I can do. I mean, I guess there's some microwave breads that kind of faked it with um, coloring or some sort of darkened herbs or maybe seeds or something. But I'll have to experiment with that. Well, here's the uh, bread that I made in the stove to go. It didn't have the um, crusty crust that uh, I'm used to, but everything else looks like bread. Put some butter on it. Let's give it a try. Tastes good. Tastes like artisan bread. I can see putting maybe some sesame seeds or some herbs, but just fine with a little butter. Let's see if I can um, perfect it, maybe make it a little easier. I don't think it was necessary for me to move it to foil. Then I'm going to see if I can just cook it straight on. Like I think the heating up process may just make it expand more. And then increase the cooking time. I mean, to get it to this, I had to cook it for about 60 minutes. So it's a, usually it's about 30 minutes to cook at 450, so an hour. I'm thinking if I started at at zero or whatever the current ambient temperature is, and then went to 350, I don't know, maybe an hour and a half. So anyway, I'll keep experimenting. But so far, it's not a complete failure. It's um, edible. <laughs> it's actually pretty good. I like it.
rock. <laughs> 